Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mystery Science and before we start the solution step by step, please subscribe to the channel, share with your classmates and like this video. Now let's see our problem. The buck of the back hole and its contents have a weight of 1,200 pounds and a center of gravity at G. Determine the force at the hydraulic cylinder AB and the links AC and AD in order to hold the load in the position shown. The buck is pinned at E. So here we're gonna split our problem here with our force here in the back hole. And after that, we're gonna do our analysis at the pin A. So we're gonna start putting our forces. So here we have our 1200 pounds pointing down. And here we have our force F A C. And here we have our angle of 60 degrees. Here at point E, we have E Y and E X because it's a pin. So we can use our the sum of moments at point E counterclockwise positive is equal to zero in order to find our uh, force. So here we have minus FAC cosine of 60 degrees times 1, that's our length, minus FAC times sine of 60 degrees times 0 0.25 minus our weight times 1.5 is equal to zero. So we have our force AC is equal to 1200 times 1.5 over cosine of 60 plus 0 0.25 sine of 60 degrees. And here, do not forget our minus sign. So our FAC is equal to minus 2,512.2 pounds. What means that minus? That our force, instead of pointing up, as I drew here, is pointing that way. So here is our force AC with the correct sign. Now we're going to go back and then do our analysis at point A. So here we have our point A. Here pointing up is our force AC. Why pointing up? Because we know that the member is pointing now. So to be our uh, action reaction, our force AC has to point up. Now pointing to the right, we have the link force AD. And here, pointing down to make our equilibrium, our force AB. Now, our angles, here we know that's 45 degree angle, and here we know is our 60 degree angle. Now, the same as we learned in the truss, we're going to use the method of joints at joint A. And we're going to apply the sum of the forces in Y is equal to zero. So we have force AC sine of 60 degrees minus FAB sine of 45 degrees is equal to zero. So our force AB is equal to force AC sine of 60 degrees over sine of 45 degrees. So our force AB is equal to 3,076.8 pounds. 
to here our force AB. Finally, we have the sum of forces in X is equal to zero. We have force AD minus force AC cosine of 60 minus force AB cosine of 45 is equal to zero. So we have our force AD is equal to 3,431.7 pounds. So here we discover everything that our question is asking. Thanks for watching until the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you.